dragged me like a pig. I was nothing better than a pig. Nijon Frundi made this statement while narrating how his abduction took place last Friday, June 28, 2019, shortly after he returned from hospital where he has spent three days. Since I came from, back from hospital, I was feeling a little bit. So I laid down to rest. I was not 10 minutes in my rest when I heard gun firing in my compound and even in the parlor. I was so taken aback that I ran out with a t-shirt on and a trouser. Luckily, I had these things on. To find out where, what was happening, that they were shooting guns even in my own parlor, in my parlor. As I opened the door and engaged on the corridor, I saw this young man with heavy body, heavy muscles. Walk up here to come And grabbed me on my chest. I said, please, I'm just from hospital. Can you let me know what is happening? He dragged me because I was busy. He dragged me on the floor of my parlor, dragged me through the corridor here, through the yard. They dragged me like a pig. I was nothing better than a pig. And when they put me into that car, shuffled me into that car and were now going, the, those of you with cameras, if you look here carefully, they knocked me with their gun here about five times. They borrowed the gun. They masked me up. And when they masked me up, they were in, in, all along trying to block my nostrils from breathing. They took me, when dragged me out of the car, through some muddy places, no shoes on my feet, and took me into what they call a cell, and sat me there on a hard bamboo bed, bench. And that's where I slept for about two days. The chairman was released between 9 and 10 p.m. Saturday, June the 29th. This is not the first time the chairman is taken hostage, but the demands are almost the same. This time, a 24 hours deadline is given. They said you want you to declare, the brother cameras, to declare on our cameras now that you get your people out of parliament, out of senate, and out of council in the next 24 hours. You have to say it here and now for us. I said, sir, you don't hold me at gunpoint to make such statements. You cannot do it. Sorry. I will not do it. Because you have to tell me why. They say, no, they're disturbing our cause. I said, why is it only the SDF parliamentarians? I said, because those are our parliamentarians who have faith and confidence. In. When they come out, we'll know what to do with the rest. I said, okay, fine. What I want to tell you on this media is that we had our own approach and the approach I explained to them off camera. Despite the threats, intimidations, abductions on his person, family and party members, Chairman Frunzi maintains. I think that we are in trouble in the country because anybody who has an opinion thinks that his or her own opinion is supreme. But I still believe in the democracy that the SDF ushered in. I still believe in the rule of law that we talked of. I still believe in quite a lot of things that we talked of in the, in the 90s. But if today you have yourselves being boxed up and down to say you must say it this way, well, if Cameroonians will listen to me, I'll say give in to them. Do what they want to do. They want you to do. Let us see what they can do. They can also do to avoid the situation. You never can tell. Sometimes a little child might solve a problem. But I do not believe in the type of administration where each individual thinks that he knows best, he is the best. Nijan Frunzi returns in a singlet and a pair of trousers, no shoes and no cap, just like he was, proud to being taken away. His brutal abduction left him with bruises all over his body. The circumstances surrounding his being free are not clear yet. A release by the party is expected to clear the air.